Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. Welcome to my channel. It is 3-19-2021 at 10.51 a.m. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the richest African-American male in America. And you know who that is? Yeezy, baby! Kanye. Uh, can you believe it? That according to Forbes, he's worth $6.6 billion. And $3.6 billion of that is, you guessed it, his Yeezy brand. And I heard it on the radio the other day and... Uh, shout out to Lady B it just took me by surprise when she was talking about it and I was like oh my god <laughs> and you know it's crazy because like she said he's worth like 120 million liquid so that's like saying that in his bank account in a vault somewhere in his money bin there's 120 million dollars that he can spend that he doesn't have to talk to anyone about going about and, and, and spending or whatever because it's his money. Now, on the other hand, the $3.6 billion is tied up in the brand, the Yeezy brand, the shoes, you know, and everything else. And then there's like another $3 million, I mean billion, you know, make sure you understand, B with a billion, uh, and other deals and assets. So... You know, that's crazy. <laughs> like, and I was like, man, that's actually six point uh, six billion or whatever. Now that's rich, and you know, that's still kind of like on the low end of the the bees. You know, because you look at it like, let's say if the richest man in the world or in America or whatever, let's say Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, uh, Jeff uh, Bezos. And let's say they're pushing like 50 billion or 60 billion or 70 billion, you know, that's like a tenth of what they're pushing out. So when it comes down to it, you just got to realize that it doesn't take much to be at the top. It doesn't take much to be on the Forbes list. All you got to do is be uh, making a certain amount, have a certain amount of money, and you're in there. And when you do, you, you can definitely have a hey, status. You can definitely have your own brand. You can definitely have all of these things and be considered one of the richest. And that goes back to, you know, the milestones in life where people are going from thousands to millions to, you know, and, and adding a zero here and there. And now we're, um, there's so many people out there that are able to get deals to make um, billion dollars, you know? And it's weird because Jordan's been around for a while, so it kind of makes you wonder, like, where is he at with his brand and the the Forbes list and, you know, cashing out um, in the billions? So, I don't know. It just makes you want to be like, think about owning whatever it is, all your rights, all your publishing, like everything that's going to bring you the money, the royalties and all of that. Make sure that you own that. Make sure it's yours. Make sure that when you do a contract, make sure that it's the right deal for you because you never know where it's going to take you in a short period of time. Now, some people have a problem with that. You know, I look at uh, Kanye as like a chess master, you know, he, he's, he came in the game strong, uh, producing and, and rapping and, you know, all of this. And I, I was a strong, um, when the college dropout uh, album uh, came, I was in college and questioning, uh, you know, my college lifestyle and was it about 
you know, it's always about the money. When you go into college or whatever, you're going for whatever career path that you're choosing. But in that career path, you want to be successful. You want to be financially stable. You want to be rich. You want to be paid. You want to be well off. You want to be at least making six figures a year because you want to live in a nice house and have nice cars and have nice things. So these are, regardless of what education they speak on and in the, in the cunning the college dropout, he was always talking about uh, degrees, 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 and those degrees are worthless if they're not put in play to cash out. So I know plenty of people that go to school, get their degree, and have to chase after their master's and their PhD and whatever, and still, the due to the employment field that they're chasing after you know some people think you get your degree and you come in at top no you get your degree you still might end up at mcdonald's you get your degree you might still end up in the mail room or something trying to you know um like the movie senseless with uh um marlon wayans or whatever you know you might not be smile baits material <laughs> you might have to start to work your way up to instead of coming in as a junior, junior analyst you know so these are these are the things you got to consider you know uh, and just think of it like this if you get to the point where your name is a brand your name is strong enough then yeah they're gonna want you businesses will want you companies will want you they're gonna want to do cologne shoe shirt they want that you know they want to be like Oh, yeah, you know, like me, Terrence Grundy the Great, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, you got to get out there. You got to put yourself out there. So, every time you're thinking about what I'm going to do, just just keep pushing. Keep pushing for the success that you feel that you're deserved, you know? Uh, hard work definitely pays off because you can't say that Kanye hasn't been through some things. I mean, some people look at it and they'll slide in the um, Illuminati factor or the craziness he was doing at the uh, award shows with the Taylor Swift and Beyonce statement. And then you also have the more recent uh, scandal or whatever with him and Trump being a strong Trump supporter, you know, so it's kind of like crazy, you know, make America great again, where um, where we're headed, you don't need roads, that's the way I feel about it, you know, I feel like we headed to the sky, I, 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 you know, because you, hey, use all the resources that you can get your hands on, because some of those resources are coming to an end, you never know what the future may hold, look at us now, a year ago, in 2020, maybe even at the end of 2019, whatever officially, I mean, I just know for officially that the uh, coronavirus popped off in March and everything started shutting down, and we're still feeling the effects. We're still feeling the, the mask wearing and the I can't breathe and the uh, Black Lives Matter and like everything, every chain reaction that there is, you know, it's, it's something that's happening or whatever. And no matter what happens after that turning point, that's the thing that is definitely going to get uh, remembered and held on to. Because every time I've ever watched uh, 28 Days Later or a contamination movie or anything that was like Resident Evil, you know what I'm saying? The T-Virus. That right there has always, I'm going to say haunted me, but I've held on to it. And it is one of, um, okay, I don't want to say top five or three or whatever, but it's like one of the main concerns of how um, we're all going to go, you know. So a lot of people say it's either going to be uh, some sort of virus is going to wipe us out. Um, it's going to come from the stars. It's going to be like a meteor or asteroid or whatever. Going to hit the, you know, like uh, Armageddon, the movie Bruce Willis, and, and Meteor. Then some people say that uh, you've seen the movie Core, you know, the Earth itself is just going to, you know, quit on us like a like a, 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 a used up car, you know, like there's mileage on it, you know. Eventually, uh, all the resources that we have, you know, like... Uh, 
you can look at it like Krypton or whatever with the Superman. Like they knew, <laughs> they knew that the planet was coming to an end. So that's why they sent um, Superman Kal-El to the planet Earth or whatever. And the only reason that Superman has the powers that he has is because he's radiated by our yellow sun. So just imagine that. Um, we're the last of our, you're the last survivor of Earth, and they send you off to uh, some planet somewhere that's um, planet M status or whatever, or we're planet let's say we're planet M status or whatever. You send you off somewhere that's planet Z, and they have like a blue sun, and because of their blue sun, you're able to have powers like Superman. Just think about it. So at the end of the day, for me, I love Superman, but to be honest with you, uh. It's, it's his character that makes him a superhero, and it's the fact that, hey, at the end of the day, he's still an illegal alien, literally. So, there's sometimes where um, the storyline of him and Lex Luthor start off as friends. They're friends, you know? and But it's like Clark Kent and Lex Luthor are friends. Lex Luthor sees Superman as an alien threat, you know, he, which is he's rightful to be because in um, the multiverse or whatever, there are worlds where Superman is like, considers himself a god and he's running the planet and killing people. He's the bad guy. So, I mean, in the end, there's also times in the comics where Superman has been mind controlled and Batman has to uh, come in and take him down or whatever. So you can't always look at it like, uh, you know, one way. Kind of going off topic here, but, you know, I always feel like there's a solution and that's what the comics are for that's what the movies are for that's what you know that's, that's what I feel like it's like a um, a Saturday morning cartoon or TV show or whatever special or like when they had certain shows out like Family Matters and stuff uh, there was always a lesson to be learned or Animaniacs you know um, well not necessarily Animaniacs but <laughs> Um, a lot of a lot of uh, I've used King of the Hill. I used to watch a lot of King of the Hill. Um, a lot of lessons learned on King of the Hill. Um, so I feel like if they if they're already laid it out for you, then you know. And other than that, like I say, the other those are some of the ways that the the world comes to an end, like some people say cyborgs and robots, like the Terminator situation, so it, it's 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 up there. I'm looking forward to the Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, series, you know, shout out to Disney Plus, I'm definitely going to tune into that, which is like, <laughs> Disney is a beast, they're a powerhouse, uh, linking up with Disney is always, if you could get a good deal out of Disney, then... Even like my guy, uh, um, one call away, Marcus Weaver or whatever, the Lion King, Young Simba, um, his royalties, he's paid for life, you know. And it was a basically, I listened to his story and it's thank God for his mother who helped him get the deal, which was originally just a straight out two million dollars. And always think about the future because but thanks to his mom she was like no we want royalties you know we want publishing rights we want every time that you know somebody play this song or sing it or whatever or whatever the case is we want to get paid forever and if you could get a deal to where you get paid forever even if like you're making regular people money you still rich because you have you know that the check is always going to be coming because I watch Lion King all the time. I still watch Lion King. I might watch Lion King today. And due to that fact, you know that you're going to get paid. So, shoes. You got some nice shoes out there. The contracts will always be in play. People will always, someone is going to always want some Jordans, some Yeezys, some Weezys, you know. Some Heezys, you know. Off the cheesy, Feces, you know. Whatever. Someone's always going to want that. It's like, um, 
like I tell people all the time, there are certain businesses or whatever, like hair is good business. If you do hair, ladies, hey, you're going to get paid. You're going to make your money back for the time that you put in it. Guys, if you're going to start a, uh, cutting hair and barber shopping, you're going to get paid. You know, that's, 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 you know, it, it's, it's a road to the top. And if you're ready to travel that road that's not taken, then let me know. All right. I just wanted to say that, hey, congratulations, Kanye. I'm not a hater. Six point six billion dollars. Um, I'm, 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 hey, set of some records. Um, just kind of chill out on the Make America Great Again situation and come back to us, man. You know, uh, I, some people say they stop messing with you. Uh, keep, keep producing. Keep uh, making hits. Keep making people send like. You know, for for everyone who's at the top, like they said, reach back. You know, each one, reach one, teach one, whatever the phrase is. So I see y'all at the top. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, this has been your boy Terrence Grundy the Great. Already, peace. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this. And stay tuned for the next video.